Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dry box for your fish finder for your kayak. So this box, five dollar box, you can get that from Walmart. I'm sure you can find them anywhere else, but um, this specific one is from Walmart. The brand right here for you. Inside, so I've got a 12 volt 10 amp battery. Now, this one's a Duracell Ultra. Uh, like I said, uh, 12 volt 10 amp. So this one probably lasts a long time. I'd say if you went on a weekend fishing trip, it'd last you the whole time. So, it's a nice battery. Probably gonna spend 40 bucks for it, but, and you can get other brands for probably 12, 12 bucks, but I like that one so far. On the side, I've got my Lowrance Elite 3X. Uh, you can get this right now off of Amazon or probably Cabela's Bass Pro or wherever, um, 90 bucks. I think it was 89, 99. Um, it's great. I mean, it's basic, but it's great. It shows you the depth, which is the main thing for me. I can see where the drop-offs are and whatnot. Uh, you can see where your fish are. Uh, you can see some basic structure, uh, water temperature. Um, but it's really nice for the side of the kayak, and if for some crazy reason something happens, um, you're kind of new to kayak fishing or new to the fish finder I would definitely recommend this but if it breaks um, it's not a bank breaker so Elite 3X inside I just have some foam you can use any foam this is from my old GoPro case when I switched from one GoPro to two on the kayak um, I had the leftover, the case, and I used that, and it kind of fit in there nice. This right here is from the dollar store, and it's a little metal wire frame with some plastic around the side. It's like in your organization section of the dollar store, and it's like pretty heavy-duty plastic. Um, all I did was I used some wire cutters, and I cut the uh, frame on the ends and I just squeeze it together and I use some heavy duty duct tape and I duct taped it to together and then I duct taped it to the bottom of the box so it doesn't slide and that's a big deal um, if you just put the battery in there fine maybe you can find some foam to put around it um, get creative I mean you do what you got to do but um, this has seemed to work out nice for me Coming out the side of the box, which I just made a small, drill a small hole in, and is my trailer cable. And the trailer cable, you can get this in all different lengths, and I suggest getting the longest one you can. Um, maybe get a couple of them, because they're not that expensive, just in case you make a mistake. But, um, that's what it looks like, right there. I uh, got that from AutoZone. And you're gonna need this wire and put it through and split up, split both ends, and put these little clips on there. And those I got from Ace Hardware. So they're just little clamp clips. So you have your spliced wire here. And you throw, put it up through there and then you clamp it really tight against there and it's not going to come off. And these slide right onto these. So it's very simple. The one I got came with the little fuse box. So I put that in there just in case. I don't think it'll be a big deal whether you have one or not. But... Um, I use it, it's on there, I wasn't going to take it off, so 
And I just have the wires coming through either side of the box. And then they'll connect onto my battery here. And all I did was I know my battery's going to sit in this way every time. So it makes it easier just to connect them on. The wires are down out of the way. And I can put them in the box. So that's cool. So when I buy or when you purchase a fish finder, you're going to get your transducer with it. And I've had someone ask me on Amazon the other day, does it come with a mount, does it come with this? No, it just comes with your transducer, you know, your main screen, your transducer, and the wire for it. So you're going to have to get creative on how you're going to connect that to your kayak. Um, if you go to a place like Cabela's or Bass Pros, or you search on YouTube somewhere, they're going to tell you you can make, you know, put it inside your kayak and fill it with a gel and put your transducer in there. That wasn't conducive to my kayak, my sit-in kayak that you've seen. Um, so I just made an extension arm, and you probably saw that in my video. And I'll show you how to make that in another video some other time. But as far as the transducer goes, and that's what your transducer is, your little sonar guy. When you get it in the box, it's going to come with the wire from the transducer and it's going to already be split and it's already going to be spliced at the end for you. So the piece that's left over from your dry box, you're basically going to use that other piece, connect it to the spliced wire from your transducer, put some electrical tape around it. Uh, you can get the heat shrink um, tubing that works really, really nice. It'll probably give it a lot cleaner look. Um, I used that and I used liquid tape just to make it extremely strong and then that other end of that trailer piece will connect to here and the reason you need that is because you need it to attach to your box right so if you connect your box right and you have a charged battery, you need to go and buy a charger for your battery. You can look them up. There's all different kinds. You're just going to do a National Lampoon's deal here and connect your wires. And pray that everything works out. I'm going to connect my thing there. should turn right on if you did everything right so try it I mean it's not expensive to do um, if you already have a battery at home you already have a fish finder and you're just like concerned about where to stick your battery or whatever um, like I said I got the box from Walmart I got the trailer um, components and wires from AutoZone you can get the heat shrink um, tubing from AutoZone. Um, I got the Lowrance offline. Um, I got the clips that go onto the battery from Ace Hardware. You can get them from Home Depot. So I'm going to be putting up some more videos, some fishing videos, some more um, how to's on my kayak just to give you some ideas. Um, I hope you enjoy watching. I hope you learn something. But the best way to do it is take this idea take other ideas and come up with your own I'm sure that you're creative enough to do that so well thanks for watching me today and I'll see you out on the water thanks